Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So you've probably seen scales like lizard scales or dragon scales on some people's avatars or well on their textures. So today I'm going to be showing you how to texture or well remake or make scales in texture form. Do keep in mind that you need Substance Painter for this. So if you're either new to Substance Painter, then I have made a video on this. Uh, but if you're already using Substance Painter, then you're good to go. Now, there's actually two ways that you can get scales on your avatar. You can either get this brush, which is basically kind of like fish scales, and you see how the material here looks like and all the maps. Now, this does cost you uh, between five to sixty dollars, depending on what uh, depending on what package do you need. But I'm going to be showing you as well how you can kind of replicate this or remake this for free. So let's head over to our Substance Painter and once you have your textures and everything ready, in this window you're just going to type in Material. We're going to scroll down and you're looking for a material that's called Nail, this one right here. If I just press on my avatar, you already see that it kind of creates that um, kind of 3D effect. And now, don't worry about the rust on the sides here, you generally don't see those after you uh, export your textures. Um, but as you saw by the examples, you can basically replicate scales and I mean, they are, they are kind of circular, I will have to say, but I mean, they can get a pass for what they are. I mean, if you're just looking for some simple scales and nothing that, nothing that sticks out way too much. Now it is a little bit difficult to use this and uh, for example, depending on how good or bad your UV maps are, they can kind of get distorted as you see here. But generally, I think they work pretty well if you're trying to just replicate some scales and okay, if you're making a lizard avatar or something like that. I think that this can work pretty well and it's free of course, so there's that. Now I did actually cover an entire avatar in this material and here you can see how it looks like. Here's even a picture of someone that actually used this to make uh, tail scales and I would say that it looks pretty good. I mean, if you're looking for just simple basic scales, then this can work pretty well, I would say. As well as one really nice thing with this brush is that all the maps that you get, you basically get your normal map, you get your metallic map, you get your height map, all the thing necessary in order to get the scales. So once you actually have them exported and imported in Unity, here you can see all the maps that we have. And how we actually apply them on a material is you're just going to create a new material. And in the albedo is where your normal textures go. In the metallic, you can just drag in your metallic. In the normal map, it goes the normal map. And sometimes you'll see an auto fix here or fix here. Just press that and it'll fix your normal map. But basically all of these are labeled and you're just going to drag them in each and every one, a single one of these and you're good to go. Now, if you're actually using Payomi, then once you switch to the Payomi, the material is going to look kind of very broken. So you're going to go to the shading and then instead of flat, put it to realistic. And that is going to make your material appear normal. I hope that this video helped you guys out. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And did you even know about this brush? It's pretty nice, to be honest. And if you're looking for scales or something simple like that, I think it'll work perfectly fine. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around. Peace.